everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to be going live today, you guys. I'm here. It is such a nice day. Oh my goodness. It's it's uh, cloudy, but like I mean like the weather's fresh. <laughs> so it feels really nice. So today I'm going to keep on working on what I have been obsessively working on for a while now, which is um, these index cards. These ones are actually going to be lined. Hello, Kelly. Hi, the Jersey Crafter. Welcome, you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. I am just going to be using my little sewing machine here. Um, some people did ask me which sewing machine it is that I use. I forgot to show yesterday. I usually do. Um, I use the Brothers Project Runway Limited Edition CE1125PRW. It does have a nice assortment of stitches that I love. There's about 99 stitches on here. There's some for buttons and other things. And sometimes I bust out of the straight stitch and the zigzag enough to work on something else. Hi, Brenda. Oh, it's snowing in Colorado. What a nice day. I can't believe it's snowing. That's a little crazy, but okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> There's still snow on Mont Charleston, which I'm surprised at. I, that's not normal. But my friend and my husband swear up and down that it is. I don't remember that. <laughs> it's like 90 degrees here, but okay. Let me put something underneath this so that you guys can see what I'm working on. Because it seems like the white paper kind of is too much of a glare. So I just have my little tacky glue here and a bunch of more strips that I made out of the fabric that I fused on to heat and bond. You could just probably sew the fabric on top, but I kind of like um, using the heat and bond to turn it into paper first. So I turned my fabric into paper. Like I said, you could probably do this without doing that step, but I just find it a lot easier to cut the fabric and everything straight. I don't put a lot of glue. <clears throat> and sometimes there's excess here and I'll reuse these on other cards. The smaller pieces, I'll, do, I'll use those sometimes in other ones. So there's that. And then I'm gonna sew on it and it's gonna look really cute. I love it. So let's go on to the next one. Leave this fabric here. This is pretty. And for these ones, I made sure to kind of Frankenstein the paper together. Um, let me show you guys. <clears throat> for example, like this. I put different size strips next to each other. Um, when I glued them down and backed them on paper. And so when I cut them across the strips, they have different um, colors on them. So that's what this is. And I just put a little bit of glue because I am going to sew on the paper. So I don't want it to be gunky with glue. So those are two different fabrics right there. That looks nice. Not being too picky about it. And then I get all these leftover pieces, which I could do little quilted parts with. Or like I said, I could just... um continue on the whole strip thing so that'll be something <clears throat> you have a ton of fabric scraps yep i'm telling you i had a lot of um i had a lot of heat and bond scraps which is how i started doing all this <laughs> i had way too many scraps of heat and bond and i'm like i need to use these i need to use all of these up and sometimes they move around, oh my gosh, because there's not a lot of glue. <laughs> I have to reposition it. It happens, it happens. Okay, so there's that. Cut this part off here. So that looks really cute. Two different fabrics right there. Um, let's see, who else is here? Patricia's here. Hi, Patricia. Jackie R, Sandra, hi Sandra, Maryville, hi, and hi Don, hi Car, welcome. These could also be tabs, yeah, totally, totally, like just fold them in half like that, 
Yep, that would be cute. That would be cute. Is your fabric first stuck onto the paper? Um, <clears throat> I make these strips. This is uh, fabric, heat and bond, and then packing paper. And I do this a lot on um, a lot of my videos. You'll see me doing this for a lot of things. It's basically how I get my glue on fabric. <laughs> Sometimes it's a lot easier. You could just glue it directly onto the paper. <clears throat> but I like to turn the fabric into paper first. And then I can, it's almost like just adhering paper to paper at this point right now. Right there. And I did this a while ago. Um, over the weekend, I just started <laughs> adhering my fabric onto the heat and bond. And I thought it looked super cute. Because I'm like, I have all this heat and bond. I have all this fabric. I can put them together and then figure out what to do after that. Because <laughs> right now, I don't know. But I think it'll come to me. <laughs> this right here. I hope everybody is having a good day, and I hope everybody is excited for this weekend, even if you're just going to relax <laughs> and work on some junk journaling things. It's always fun. Uh, what about sticking the fabric to the paper that comes off the heat and bond? Um, does, I don't know if that would, I don't know if that would work. I mean, uh. That's quite a, that's an idea. There is a lot of it left. <laughs> I thought about maybe, it, it's almost, it almost feels like, um, what is that stuff? Craft ticks? What is it called? It's called um, Tyvex. Tyvex. It almost feels like Tyvex. Like, I feel like maybe you could almost reinforce the spine of a book with this. I don't know. I'm not sure. I do have a lot of that stuff left, though. I don't know if I need this light. Maybe I don't. <laughs> maybe that's, what making it, that's what's making it a little bit bright. Okay, let's see. So here I have this strip of fabric here. It's a little bit shorter than this. I didn't cut them to size or anything. Um, I do use the same width, but the length of it doesn't matter to me so much. Because I can always um, Frankenstein a couple more pieces afterwards. Like this right here. And that would be cute. If it doesn't move. Okay. There we go. So, let's see here. What else do I have? Oh, I love this fabric right here. It's so cute. It's pink. And these are bed sheets. Most of this fabric that I'm working with is still the bed sheets. <laughs> Um, have so much of that fabric left, and I need to stop buying bed sheets. <laughs> need, but will I? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> work with it, Maryville, and let us know if you discover something that you've never seen anybody else do. Make a video about it or take some pictures. <laughs> let us know. I'm interested. There's that. That looks cute. I like the combo of those two fabrics. It looks really nice. And now let's do this one. Oh, I think this one, it doesn't fit all the way. So we'll cut this somewhere. Right there. And put some glue down for the rest of it. Let's see this over here. 
Sorry, I keep working crooked. I guess I work like that naturally. <laughs> okay, and then, and then, have some of this stuff right here. This looks nice. Hi, Lil Rhonda Lee. Rhonda's here. Hey. It's only supposed to be like 76 degrees or something. I got my little shorts on, so I'm good. Not that they're little, but <laughs> I got my shorts on. Okay, so that looks good. Even though it's cloudy, it's still warm. Surprisingly. I don't have my AC on today because it's not that hot. The sun's not out, so it's not supposed to be hot today. I guess it's supposed to rain the next couple days. I was not expecting it, but I guess it's going to rain. Ooh. Okay, so there's this one. That one's got three different fabrics on it. That looks cute. I like it. We got a nice little stash here. These cards that we're going to sew on and make them look all cute. Okay. So let's see. This one looks cute. That's a nice combo. Okay. Sorry, I guess I just work crooked naturally. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna cut this extra part here. I cut out so many strips. <laughs> this is gonna be fun to sew. <laughs> I make a lot of these and then I'll kind of divide them into different colors. So that I can do different thread, different thread combos. Let's see, what else do I have in here? I will put one of these. Right there, that looks cute. Move my sewing machine so I have some space here. I love these bed sheets. These ones are so pretty. They're one of my favorite sets. But you know what? I keep going back to the stores. Oh, I went to the I went to the thrift shop um yesterday with Richard and I ended up buying another oh my gosh, you guys, I found another set of those flower encyclopedias I love. So I bought 15 more books. I'm kind of, <laughs> oh, I have too many books and I, I had already told my husband I had too many books and I wasn't going to buy any book, more books. And then I come home with 15 more books. But you guys know that I love those books. There's a freaking fly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, is it jam up your needle with the glue? No, it doesn't. I just put the glue in the very middle, but I actually end up sewing here and then around close to the edge, so it doesn't really touch the glue. And the heat and bond that I used is the heat and bond that allows for sewing, so it should not get jammed up. It shouldn't. I'm not saying it won't. I'm saying it shouldn't. <laughs> But also, I wait a while till I sew. And <clears throat> I keep them in order like this. So I know that the one back here has been drying the most. <laughs> so I'll start sewing from the back to the front. If that makes sense. And I try not to put any glue. Almost no glue. Almost no glue. This will have three fabrics on it like that. That's interesting. Let's see, that looks good. Looks, I like it when it has more than one type of fabric. Even if it's three, that's even better. 
I don't know why. It's just a good look, you guys. So barely any glue. It is the trick. Let's put this over here. Okay. Okay, so there's that. And then I have all these little pieces off over here to the side. That will figure out something else to do with them. <laughs> if they're big enough, I'll use them in some instances. But we'll see. Okay. So. Okay. Got this over here. This looks good. Hi, Carrie Ann. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so there's that with the nice fabric change. Keeping it going. This is a pretty quick process. Try not to think about it too, too much. Sometimes you could go for a theme. These ones are kind of just, there's no theme to these strips. It's just different colors. And they all end up looking really cute together, so it's okay if they don't match. <laughs> They're going to look cute. I can't wait to use the red thread on this. I think it's going to look adorable. Definitely one of my favorite looks from the other day. This one right here. Got this, uh, this uh, polka dot thing going on here on this one. Then it has a little bit of a uh, blue fabric there at the end. And I put the glue just in the middle where I wouldn't, I'm not going to sew where that glue is. So it won't go up my needle. Um, and again, you have to use the purple heat and bond if you want to sew on your projects. And there's a red heat and bond. They cost the same. So, I mean, I have one of both because sometimes the project that I want calls for sewing and sometimes not. Um, for my covers, for example, I use the purple heat and bond, which is the sewable for the spine where I like to uh, sew on lace. And then for everything else, I pretty much use the purple heat and bond so I can sew on it, like for tags um, and other things like that. So it's great. The actual cover of the book I don't use. I use the red heat and bond. That's a cute combo right there. Okay, so let's keep it going. Okay, got this right there. Put it right over here. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know, maybe I've just been really emotional lately. I woke up really missing my mom's dog this morning. We had to put it down like, I don't know, I think it's been like a month or two almost now. And I just woke up and I was like, oh, that little puppy. I miss her, you know. Ah, <sighs> really sad. She was just such a good little puppy, you know, that you'll never, you'll never be able to hug her again. It was so tough. <laughs> it was like day one all over again. That's, that's life and my, um, hubby gave me lots of hugs, so I felt better. Just that little puppy. Okay, let's see. We're just going to keep on doing this. I have a lot, I have a hundred index cards, you guys. <laughs> But I'm only going to do this for an hour because then it'll take me almost like an hour to sew it up. <laughs> so I got to put a limit on myself for the show anyways. This looks good. You get a nice, um, oh, these are just so cute. I'm just so excited to sew these up. When you sew them up, it just adds some more special little touches and it just completes the look. I just love it. When I have more of them, I thought that was it. I have way more of them. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's keep it going. 
Like I said, I'll divide all of these into different threads so I can get different looks for different books. <laughs> that rhymed. That's funny. Okay, so here we go. We got that right there. Moving it over here. Just trying to get it even. Cut this part off right there. But that looks good. Uh, the kitty boy is, is he looking out the door? Yeah, he's asleep somewhere. He is asleep. When I woke up, I took a nap right before I went live and, uh, he was on my chair. <laughs> I'm like, thank you, but you gotta go. He's sleeping somewhere. It's not in front of the door where he normally is, but he probably will once I try and close it. <laughs> it hasn't rained here, but they said it was going to rain. It looks like rain, and it smells like rain. So I'm a little scared. Yeah, these are... these. I don't know why, like I said, I've felt so compelled to make these the last couple days. I just like the look. So I'm going to keep doing it. I'll turn on my light. It just got a little bit dark. Okay, so let's do this part over here. And right there. That looks good. Okay. Ew, I hadn't noticed how gross my nails are. Oh. What the heck? I usually keep my nails so clean. <laughs> okay, Daisy. Okay, so this extra fabric here. That looks so cute. This fabric is so pretty with the purple and orange flowers. I love them. It has rained so much in Oklahoma. We are flooding. It is raining in Oklahoma. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Too much rain. Things so extreme right now. The weather is so extreme everywhere. Okay. And then, and then, oh, I still have more pieces of this over here. Okay, let's do that. I'm afraid our snow is coming your way. Oh, no. Snow. It's not very, um, is that normal for it to be snowing in May? I don't know how that's happening here in Vegas. Because it's almost like 90 degrees down here. I don't know how this, the mountain still has snow. It's a little strange. A little strange. But I feel like I'm the only one that finds it strange because my friend swears up and down that it's snowy up there until mid-May. And I'm like, what? I never heard of that. That doesn't sound right at all. <laughs> what? This strip right here looks so cute with that little flower at the end. I love it. Oh my goodness, snow everywhere. I'm glad it's not hot this week, but it's snowing in other places. That's crazy. This one has two different fabrics right here. That's kind of funny. So I'm going to lay that down because that's interesting. Sometimes I just put a bunch of different strips down on the paper. And so when I cut them up... They're, they look kind of Frankenstein. Like like I said, when I do this, or, oh, let's see, I did it over here too. Two different fabrics put together next to each other. And so when I cut them up, oh, here's this one. <laughs> this one's really Frankenstein. So that's three different fabrics put together. So when I cut it down here, 
I get all these different fabrics on um, the final product. That's how I ended up with that three piece right there. Adorable. I've been having fun doing all that. Hi, Elizabeth. Yeah, I'm going to be going live at this time every Monday through Friday now at 1 p.m. Sometimes that'll change, but that's going to be it for now. 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Oh, so this one's got pink on it. That's kind of cute. Kind of feeling it. That one's not together, but that's okay. Okay, so that looks good right there. Hi, Kayleen. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, everybody. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but hi. I think that's Korean. <laughs> that looks Korean. I don't know what you're saying, but hi. <laughs> welcome. Let's go over here on this one with the purple. It looks pretty with the purple. There we go right there. Stinking fly. Oh my god. <laughs> it's got to be in my face. This would look pretty with the polka dots here. Would look cute. There. Oh, that looks cute with all those three fabrics. Very different fabrics. I love the effect. <laughs> it looks so cute. Ooh, I love this one. This one's okay. This one's so far my favorite one. <laughs> kind of weird to have a favorite index card, but that's my favorite index card of all times. So, oh my god. This fly. <laughs> like I said, I'd be upset about it, but one time I watched this video. Um, it was the White House, and there was a fly on the camera, and I'm like, okay, cool, so it happens to them. <laughs> it happens to them, too. It's okay. <laughs> it's just life, you know? It's just life on life. <laughs> that looks awesome. So let's get some more papers on here. This is an interesting mix right here, and I love it. Get it right there. Okay, I'm boost sitting on the floor. I've had this jacket on the floor, I'm not going to lie, for like two weeks now. And it's his bed now, I don't know. <laughs> so he's on the floor next to me now. <laughs> He's cute. Sometimes he just likes to be close by. We'll have to keep watching this later. Have a good night. Have a good night, Sass. Thanks for coming and saying hi. I miss everybody so much. I'm so happy to be back. And I'm so glad that you can't hear that AC. Which actually, I might turn on right now because it is a little bit warm. It's probably like 78 degrees, which is not hot, but... It's also a little bit uncomfortable, just a little bit. <laughs> I have the door open and everything, so I get a little bit of a breeze. I just don't have windows in here. So sometimes my, like the kitchen and living room area has some windows. And I have a window, but I can't open it. Because, <laughs> you know, trailer life. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's why I like my AC. Even I just use it on fan mode and it feels it feels better. <laughs> okay, let's do that right there. Ugh, got all this stuff around me. I gotta clean my desk, you guys. Oh my goodness. I just I just heard something. I'm not sure if it's a cat or a baby. <laughs> I don't know what I just heard. That was weird. Okay. Okay. I think it's a baby. <laughs> I 
can't tell the difference <laughs> somehow. Okay, let's get this one here. Oh, that was a little bit short. <laughs> I'll have to cut that or something. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a baby. <laughs> okay, let's get this over here. And then we have, oh, we got this blue piece. That would look cute there. Yeah, let's do that. That would look cute. It's not exactly the same size, but that's okay too. When you stitch on it, you won't even be able to tell. You won't even see it. Okay. So here we go. We got all these cards so far. They look great. Different fabric combos. You really get an idea of all the fabrics that I have. I'm trying to use them up in as many ways as possible, you guys. These bed sheets were a good deal, but it also feels like a curse to have so much of the same fabric. I kind of want to kind of just move on. <laughs> but, like, I can't. <laughs> but it's cool, though. It's cool. I feel like everything coordinates. <laughs> everything, you got to look at the positive, you know? Everything coordinates. It's good. <laughs> okay, let's do this pink part out here. That over there. Yeah, you can. I'm gonna stitch them. You of course don't have to if you don't have a sewing machine. They they already look done to me. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, these are gonna be journal cards, journaling cards. As you can see, it's got the lined uh, paper on there. I did also do some with blank paper, but these will end up as journaling cards in my books. Got some extra fabric. Let's start piecing these bits together. Got this polka dot piece. And up here at the very edge, there is whatever this is. <laughs> That'll go there. So Frankenstein those together. That looks cute though. Okay, so what have I not touched? Oh, I haven't touched this yet. I will start sewing very shortly. So I do have a nice stack going on already. Um, we'll do this part right here. It's going to look so cute. Too excited, too excited for these. <laughs> okay, that looks cute. Let me get some water. Okay. And I haven't used this kind of bluish thing. There's so much I haven't used. <laughs> it was all at the bottom. Let me turn on my AC. Give me one moment. Okay. I ordered a cover for my microphone because I'm still kind of like paranoid about it. <laughs> but I don't, I don't think it'll be. I think it's going to be good. If y'all can hear it, I don't know. I'm happy. Oh my gosh. I still have the door open, but it's just a little bit warm in here. If I had windows in here with a little bit breeze that's going on outside, I'd be okay. But I don't have windows. <laughs> okay, so there's this one. That looks cute. Pink. Soft blues. I love it. It would also look nice to pleat the fabric and then sew it on the index one. Ah, how do you do that, though? Like this? I don't it's a little bit too small though let me see I've always wanted to do pleats but I don't know if I'm 
doing them right. Plus, I don't think I can make too many of these. It kind of hurts my hair. <laughs> let's, let's, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. I will try anything once. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll try anything crafty once. How about that? Sounds better. <laughs> oh, I didn't plug in my machine. That was the other thing I had to do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, hang on. Ugh. That would certainly help with the title of this video and everything. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's on, it's on. Let's see if it'll work. Uh, where did it go? Uh, let me see if this, if I can make, I don't know. I've never really worked with pleats, to be honest with you. How would I glue it? I don't know how I would glue it. Oh, man. Okay, hang on. Just gonna use a straight stitch. Let's see, let's see. I'm trying to keep the scrunch. Ah! Oh, I missed the scrunch right here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, keep it together, keep it together. Let's see. Ugh, but it's so done all crooked. That does look cute though. Maybe my light is too bright. Can't see that. Little pleats. That is cute. I would kill my hand to do too many of those, though. But let's see. Let's see if I can pleat this one. Maybe a little bit longer one would be better for this. Okay, let's see. Ugh. I don't know if I'm even pleating this correctly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. What? Um, yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing it right. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that one. I need to learn how to play. That looks cute already. Without the heat and bond? Yeah, that might work better, huh? I do have strips of fabric. That'll be for another project. <laughs> I, I like the look, though, so I'm glad I tried it. Thank you for the suggestion. Look at that. Proper. That, that's a good pleat. Hard with the heat and bond. You're right. That's not, it's not very easy. But that's adorable, though. <laughs> Thank you for the suggestion. <laughs> I'm down to try it. I am. I'm down. <laughs> okay. This fly though oh my god okay 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 we're back <laughs> i need to get to sewing already i have this nice bunch here okay let me get to the sewing machine this is so we get all this put away oh my goodness i'll come back to it i'll come back i have a lot i cut up a lot a lot, a lot. I used up my whole sewing, all my all my purple heat and bond to do this. It was supposed to be just my scrap heat and bond, and then I loved it so much. I'm like, I need to do more of this. <laughs> I don't know why. I have other things I could do, but I'm like, I need to do this right now forever. I don't know why. Okay, let's get all this out of the way so we can get to the sewing part here. Okay, so I will be back tomorrow. It's Friday. I will be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. You guys want to come and hang out with me again. Okay, so I'm going to be using almost... Oh, wait. I forgot to change the bottom part. I'm going to be using a... Almost like a periwinkle blue thread for a couple of these. Here it is. Here's what I need. <laughs> okay, here we go. We are going to be at my sewing machine here. Get my light right above me. 
Use a rosary, ro rosary, <laughs> a rotary cutter. I use my um precision cutter. This thing, the Fiskars precision cutter. Um, and this has a rotor. It's a rotary cutter right there, right? So sometimes I put a little bit of cardstock behind the paper um, heat and bod combo, um, and then it helps it slice through. Um, and sometimes it just slices through on its own uh, very well. So that is what I use to make these strips. That's the easiest thing I've been able to find to make straight uh, lines on fabric anyways. Okay, so let's divide this kind of in the middle. And I'm going to do two different colors. So with half of these, I'm going to do this blue. And then the other half, I'll probably do red because I'm kind of feeling that red. <laughs> okay, so... Let me figure out this camera angle here. Okay, that's good. And let me get the, okay, the camera a little bit up, uh, the light a little bit out the way is better. Okay, so I'm gonna do some, I like this really cute stitch and it's a bunch of stars almost. I'm gonna make it the widest and the longest stitch I can. So I'm using number 20, stitch number 27 for those of you that have the same machine as I do. Uh, stitch number 27 is a really cute stitch, uh, like a star, uh, starburst, flower. I don't know what it is, but it's really cute. So I'm using uh, number 27. The length is four and the width is seven. If you guys want to check that stitch out, it's really cute. And I love the effect that it uses. That it makes on, on the cards. You'll see it's really cute. And it's almost like an embroidery stitch. Very cute. See that right there? I love it. It looks really cute, really shabby chic. Okay, so do that, and then I'm going to do a straight stitch border. So stitch number one with the longest length. And I'm going to put a nice um, eighth of an inch border around it. And I do always hold my breath when I do straight stitches, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I've been practicing them, but they still make me nervous. Let alone on camera when I can't be like right all up into the this area right here as much as I want to be. So I'll take it a little slow, but I've been practicing. I've been practicing, y'all. <laughs> what? Okay, Turbo Blast, good luck. <laughs> good luck in your endeavors. Okay, so here, this looks so cute. I love it with that cute border. To me, it makes it really stand out. I really messed up right there, but that's okay. <laughs> and I do put a back stitch on this, only because that's the only way to get this nice corner. <laughs> So if you see me doing a back stitch, um, that's why. Okay, so let's do that stitch again, 27. I try and do maybe like three uh, cards with the same stitch, and then I'll switch it over to something different. I think it'll look cute. This is pretty fast too. It's a pretty detailed stitch. It does a really good job at it. I love this stitch. <laughs> Probably a little bit too much. I'm going to do one more card with it and then I'll put the borders on them. Usually I'll do all the fancy stitching and then do all the borders for all of them, but that's okay. 
Oh, Rhonda, I bet you do, girl. I can't wait to see what you do. You guys don't follow Rhonda. Follow Rhonda. She does awesome junk journal projects. She's great. Now, my, this machine is great. It does really, really nice decorative stitches. I don't use all of them because they don't all look really good on paper. Sometimes the stitches, it's just too many holes and it'll like puncture the paper. It'll make my paper break in half. It just, there's a lot. There's a lot to do um, with, <laughs> with that. So let me put the border around these. One straight stitch, the longest possible, which is what I have found is good for paper. Okay, move it along here. Oh my god, it always makes me nervous when I have to do like one more stitch. <laughs> and back. And back stitch. This looks pretty. Oh, this machine is good. I would ask for it for Christmas, but I'll, I would suggest uh, Elizabeth get the warranty. <laughs> Get that warranty, girl. <laughs> I think it's a good starter sewing machine, but definitely get that extended warranty. <laughs> Let's go in here. Looks good. Go and bring it over here. And back stitch. Ooh. Just that that stitching just gives it that finishing look that I love. It is a little time consuming, but I love it, you guys. It looks so cute. Okay, so let's do another fun stitch here. Um, I've been loving, I don't know if people have been asking about this stitch. I don't know the name of it. <clears throat> people have been asking, what's that stitch? But I don't know exactly what you guys mean <laughs> by what's that stitch. Because uh, I don't know. It's hard to figure out because I've been using a lot of different stitches. So I don't know exactly at what time you guys are asking what stitch. But this stitch is really cute. Uh, I don't know the name of it, but it is number 50 on my sewing machine. And it's almost like a fishbone stitch. Almost. I say that because I looked it up and it doesn't really look like a fishbone stitch. But it's almost like this V-shaped stitch. It's really, really cute. And sometimes I make it a little bit <coughs> wider and longer and it looks adorable. Another one here, done with that same stitch. Bream is here. Hi, Bream. Okay, so there's this pretty stitch. It almost looks like the stitching on a baseball. You know what I mean? Like that V shape. I love this stitch. Yeah, uh, Reem, I am herringbone. There you go. I know it's a bone, fish bone. Or... <laughs> herringbone. There you go. That sounds right. <laughs> that sounds better than what I thought it was. Uh, Gail, yeah, I am changing my time. I'm going live at 1 p.m. I'm going to change everything over. 
I hadn't changed anything because I wasn't sure exactly what time I was going to go live. And I'm like, I'll just change it when I figure it out. But now for sure, for sure, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I'll be here. I will be here doing my little thing. 1 p.m. Oh, this one needs to be shortened up a bit. One second. One fabric was shorter. Okay. Okay, that's okay. It'll be a little shorter one, just like me. I'm so short, you guys. It's not even funny. I wish I was five foot tall. Let's just say that. Let's just say I wish I was five foot tall. <laughs> that's a dream of mine. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be five foot tall. We'll see. <laughs> now, it all goes downhill from here right now. <laughs> I know I'm just going to shrink. <laughs> so here, keeps moving around. Okay, then over here. Okay, okay, so over here, good. Okay, that straight stitch. Here we go. With the blue, it looks so cute. Okay, so this on my machine. This stitch right here, it is um, number 50 on my machine. And it looks a little bit, you see this on the smaller stitch, it looks a little bit better when it's uh, wider and longer. On paper anyways, I don't know about sewing, like fabric. <laughs> don't ask me about sewing like fabric for things that matter, because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just know how to sew it to paper. <laughs> if I had to make a dress out of paper, maybe I could. Maybe I could. That'd be an interesting project. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Now, this is a really cute stitch. I love it. Let me just give my strings a haircut. Let's get a border around this. Over here. Get it over a little bit. And over here. That's good. Okay. Oh, that looks cute because it has some blue up here. I love it. I love it. Okay, so now we got more. Let's switch the stitch. Oh, my God. I'm going to put that on a shirt. Switch the stitch. <laughs> There's this almost like honeycomb-shaped stitch, which is number 54 on my sewing machine. And it is freaking adorable. I made it the longest possible, and it's already the widest possible. So let's do this. This is so cute. You see what I mean by honeycomb stitch? Almost like honeycomb. It looks adorable. Let's do it again. I made my daughter a paper shirt for prom out of our head of right pages. Ooh, that sounds creative. Love it, you guys. I love it. Wow, that sounds fancy, Ray. Very creative. Sounds like a lot of work, too, to make it fit. Oh, my goodness. Good tailoring skills. Yep. More of that honeycomb. Stitch. Let's get 
our straight stitch on now. Okay. Okay, okay. Here we go. This way. looks cute so now we're gonna switch it over to something else oh wait i got still got these two to do oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh i forgot i forgot about these this one Does look kind of cute when it has um, blue already in the, the fabrics that I'm using. Just give it a little something, something. See, that looks cute with the blue here and the blue kind of here. Kind of matches a little bit. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. There. I got away from you a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, here. The pedal of the, these machines is kind of like driving. Like you just kind of have to get used to the pressure that it takes to go so fast or go slower. <laughs> just like driving, y'all. And backstitch. And we backstitch. That looks cute. I love it. I love it. Okay, so on these ones, let's do a different stitch now. Um, I like this one stitch, number 75. It's kind of like a loop-de-loop. -loop. <clears throat> it's really cute loop de loop cat have the stitch be too close so I put it at a length of three and the width is already defaulted at seven such a cute stitch see that's cute hi Kelly welcome I love that stitch. Such a cute stitch, I swear. Okay, let's keep going. And that one's a pretty fast stitch, even though it has a lot of little points on it. It looks so cute. I should be sewing but watching you. I cut out like a hundred burlap squares to collage fabric and lace on yesterday. It's supposed to be sewing today. Ooh, that sounds fun. What are you going to make with it? You're going to collage just like journal cards or cover or what? Yep, I thought something was wrong. <laughs> it came out. It's a pretty thick thread, so it's not hard. Okay. And we continue. Right here. Alrighty, that looks so cute. Okay, so now we do the border. So straight stitching it. Okay, longest length. 
It totally doesn't need a border, but it totally does at the same time. What sewing machine do you have? Mine is a singer, but I have to put those extra stitches in memory. Uh, mine is the Brothers Project Runway Limited Edition CE1125 PRW. It's at Walmart. It's about a hundred and like twenty or thirty dollars. But if you can find older models of the Project Runway, um, they all pretty much work the same. I don't see any difference. Older models were cheaper, like $80. And then all of a sudden, I don't know why they decided they were like, oh, we should make them more expensive. And they did. I think people just started liking them. So they made it in gold and they raised the price. But it's a good sewing machine. And it has a nice variety of almost embroidery-like stitches. And um, I can't vouch for any other sewing machine. I've never used any other sewing machine. So I am a little biased, I guess. But as a beginner, I have found it uh, pretty easy to work with. However, it's not perfect. So, like, I suggest you get the warranty. <laughs> Definitely get that warranty, though. Yeah, these will be journaling cards. Just journal cards. <laughs> I did make uh, a project where the paper was maybe half the size of this, and I layered a bunch of fabrics, and those are pockets. So kind of a variation on it, but yeah, these are going to be journal cards. You can make the same thing into a tag or anything like that. Okay. That looks adorbs because of the blue up there. It kind of fades into it. I love it. Okay, here's another one we're going to do straight stitch. The stitching even goes pretty straight if you leave it, like, let it go by itself. It does pretty straight stitches all on its own. <laughs> My main concern is monogram machine, 75 number and letter stitches. That's a lot of stitches. <laughs> Excuse me. That's a lot of stitches. Oh, that's what keeps happening. I keep moving my my table. <laughs> I'm like, why does my why is my machine not on focus on the camera? Like I didn't even move it, but I did. <laughs> Monogram, so I'm really cool too to decorate stuff with. Okay, so, but I don't know about paper. Okay, so now I'm going to use, let's see, what other stitch should I use? Oh, I like this scalloped edge, number 65. I'm going to make it the longest it could possibly be. And let's see if this one gives me the effect I want. Yep, this is going to be adorable. Oh, it's so cute. With that scalloped edge. That is adorable. Hang on, I just got a phone call. Who tried to call me? Who tried to call me? Mike. Okay. One second, y'all. I'll be right back because we got a flat tire this morning. <laughs> so, one moment. Uh...
Okay, I'm back. I thought he wanted to talk about the tire or something because we had a flat tire this morning. Um, but he just wanted to say hi. <laughs> okay, so we're back. Let's do more of the scalloped edge that looks so adorable. Okay, let's keep it going here. And yep, yep, just as expected, it looks so cute. Yeah, the paper really does feed nice and straight. I love it. Oh, one second. Ow, my ow, my, <laughs> my knee. <laughs> okay. I've always hit myself, I swear. Okay, here we go. Okay, and then we're going to have one more after this one. There were, oh, wait, no, that's three on the scalped edge. All right. But you know what? It's so cute. You know what? I'm going to do one more. <laughs> I'm breaking my own rules. Okay. Again, with these fancy, nice, elaborate stitches, you don't want to get those points too close to each other. So you want to make sure that you got that length correctly so it's not too much. Because it does happen very fast. Okay, so let's do the straight stitch around this now. And along this length. And let's get it going. Alright, nope, it's too close. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Ah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Everything came out though. Let's see, one moment. I gotta read thread. Read thread this machine. Okay, there we go. Then I also like sewing machines that are kind of popular just because I know I can look stuff up about them. Like, I know this is a very popular sewing machine with a lot of YouTubers that do crafting. So if I have a problem, they might have encountered it. You know what I mean? So odds are that they've made a video about it and it's there when I need it. So that's really good also about um, using a popular sewing machine. I'm not an expert at all on sewing machines. So I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Definitely that. Here. This way. Okay. Ah, that looks so cute with the scalloped edge, you guys. Ah, <laughs> it looks so cute. I freaking love that one. It looks even better with the uh, border around it. Definitely. I love it. This is, I'm telling you, this is why I feel compelled to make these. I don't know why. I just think everything looks so cute. I have a lot of other things I could possibly be doing, but I'm over here obsessively doing this. <laughs> it's just what I'm feeling. It's just what I'm feeling. <laughs> this last one. Okay. okay. Okay, okay, it looks adorbs. 
Uh, this one's got to be my favorite one. Definitely. Definitely has got to be my favorite stitch. I think I'm going to do red thread after this because that red thread, <clears throat> that was a hit. Everybody was talking about the red thread, and I think I'm going to bring it back. I think it would look adorable in this instance as well. I can't wait. And, okay. Over a little bit. Backstitch. Hold it in place. Not much can go wrong as long as you clean it often because paper leaves so much dust. Yes, yes, that is <laughs> so true. And I've gone a while without cleaning my sewing machine. It was so, <laughs> it was so covered in lit. It was, I got this huge lip ball. I don't know if you guys saw the video. It was a mess. It was a freaking mess. <laughs> I know I posted a picture about it, but that sewing machine, I should have definitely sewed, like, cleaned it uh, way uh, before I did. <laughs> so very much yes to that statement. And uh, I'm, I'm nervous about touching it for cleaning, but it just it's a necessary thing you got to do. Definitely, definitely necessary. <laughs> Back stitch. Yes, that's a good idea, Ray. I should do that. That is a good idea. I gotta glue this fabric down here, but that's okay. Okay, so so far we got these sewed up. Now let's do the next half of these. And I want to do it in red thread. So let's see if I have any left over. Don't think I have any more in bobbins. Let me check. One moment. Let me check my other thing with bobbins. Um, okay, threw it in here. Although we'll probably need another one though. So let me thread it on. Sorry I didn't do this before, but now I gotta do it. See my light red right one. <laughs> my sewing machine. Okay, let's get these out the way. Let's get all these out the way. And we need to thread one bobbin. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I just need a bobbin. That would help. I had a bobbin. Oh. Here it is. Here's one. Here is one. Let's get this done real quick. Otherwise, I would have had to stop anyways in the middle of it. Because this bobbin would have ran out. Down here. Okay. And around. And then around. And let's do it. Robin says, Paper Inspiration has a great ruffle tutorial. Ooh, that sounds so pretty. Don't, don't mind if I do, Robin. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Y'all know I got enough freaking fabric. I need something to do with it. So, y'all say ruffles is the way to go. I really need to get on it. Because that sounds so pretty. I already know it. I just did it and it looked so pretty. If I could do it the real way, I'm sure it would look lovely. So, thank you for that tip, Robin. I will look for that. Who knows? Maybe I'll be doing that tomorrow. <laughs> I just took the thread back out. Ah, oh, hurt my heart. It hurt my heart. Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, so the next batch is going to have red thread. So let's see what other stitches we can do on this. 
So, oh, I need my light. I forgot about my light. Okay. Okay, so let's do some fun, fun stitches here. Let's do, um, oh, on this one, I want. I still want to do that scalloped one. I want to do that one again. <laughs> and I want to do it because this one has some red in it. I'm probably going to pick out some of the, I'm going to pick out some of the um, cards that have a little bit more red in them. Oh, right, I did it this way. That's right. Oh, they left their little dogs out. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so that looks cute with the red stitching, you guys. You can't tell me that doesn't look good. That looks so good. Let's do another one. Let's do one with a little bit, with some red in it. This one will work. This red thread, it's everything. Yes. Yes. So pretty. So that looks super cute. It's going to look adorable with the border. I just know it. Let me pick out another one that has some red in it. This one would be cute. And depending on what direction you put your paper on, the scallop could be over here. Let me do one like that. It might be a little interesting. Okay, here's with the scallop going the other way. Still adorable, right? I still kind of love it. <laughs> I might do a couple this way and I might do a couple this way. I like them either way. I think they look cute either way. But this, this one still kind of is my favorite, but this looks adorable. So I think I'll do them both ways. So let's do that. I think that can count as a different stitch. No, <laughs> not really, but maybe. <laughs> maybe. What you got going on, Keisha? What's going on on your channel tomorrow morning? What's going on? I need to know. What you talking about? <laughs> uh, let's see if this one looks cute. the last one of that side. Loving it. Loving it. Let's do one more on this side over here. The hanging down. Oh, okay. Cool, Keisha. Oh, you got my attention. <laughs> okay, now let's do straight borders. I need to get some water. I'm a little thirsty. Okay. The long stitch. Doing straight border around. And I know I'm just going to love this. I love this red thread, you guys. Oh my god, it looks so cute. It's just so striking, you know? 
This one here. Okay. okay, that I already love it. Yes, yes, give it to me. Yes. With that red border, that's so freaking cute. Yes, I'm all about that. Let's keep that up. That is what I'm talking about. And this way. You know that you can always email me as well, which will be live and order after two. Very cool. Okay. That's a good set of quiche. I'll check it out. I will check it out, girl. She's got good, good stuff. She's got good lace. Um, she's got good little golden books if you guys are looking for specific ones. She's gotcha. This one right here. This looks good. Look how cute that looks. That, ooh, I love that. I love that. Got some more to do, so let's keep it going. Kind of squished it a little bit. Oh, it's okay. Okay, good. Yep. I am in love with the red thread. I think it looks so cool. Super retro, right? I love it. Ooh, she does have very, very shabby chic fabrics. That's right. I got to pull those squares out. They're somewhere stashed. I got to get those out. Those are the cutest fabrics. And they're vintage too, right, Keisha? Love it. I love it. Here. Okay, this way. <coughs> Excuse me. This one. Back. Oh, that looks so cute. Right? Thumbs up for red thread, you guys. <laughs> looks good. Okay. Got a couple more borders to do before we switch over to a different stitch. Let's do something. Fun. Okay. This way. Okay. This way, right there. Uh oh, is everybody okay? Oh, I'm not sure what your needs. I you gave me just a couple, like little fabric squares samples, but um, they're really shabby chic. I remember that very shabby chic, just the way I like. <laughs> Okay, back 
stitch. I've been doing a lot of back stitching today. I never have ever in my life. I swear. I always tell you guys it's a waste of time. <laughs> but this is the only way to get that perfect corner right there is to do that back stitch. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, so now, oh, I like this other stitch called number 57. It does these like little T's in the corner. It's super cute actually. And I just use it on default mode. It's super adorable. Let's see what it looks like. I don't know what this stitch is called, but it's super cute. It does this little T, like a zigzag, and it does these little T's in the corners. Tell me that's not adorable. That is the cutest little stitch. <laughs> Thank you, Keisha. Thank you for noticing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> You could go way back. I have videos over two years old that will show you where I started with my um, sewing machine skills. <laughs> you can see the very first things I ever made with my sewing machine <laughs> about two years ago. I've gotten better. I've gotten better. <laughs> But it's still fun to watch. It's still fun to watch. <laughs> Thank you, Keisha. Thank you for the support. <laughs> okay, so we got three of these done. Let's get that straight stitch on here. This, these ones are going by really fast. And let's get that straight stitch in there. Right there and over here. Okay. Okay. So there we go. It looks super cute with the red stitching. I'm into it. I'm really into it. Like I said, this border is really extra, and you don't even have to do any stitching. If you just put down the, the fabric on the index cards, it'll look cute. <laughs> it'll look cute. Okay, Ray, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. It'll be nice to see you around again. Okay, one more stitch. And over here down to the side. All right, all these strings are in the way. Okay, okay. And back stitch. Yes. <laughs> You're funny, Keisha. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. <laughs> okay, let's get this going here. Ooh, I moved it. I moved it. This way. Really good. So a little crooked, but it's okay. Still working on it. Okay, it didn't look crooked. Oh, no, yeah, it does. <laughs> no, yeah, it does. <laughs> Back stitch it. Okay, we're almost done here. I'm going to do a couple more. Almost at the two hour mark. Okay, so let's do. Um, what other stitch should I do? What other stitch do I like? Oh, this is a new one that I like. Number 59. It is a really cute stitch, actually. 
not too much of your key. It's kind of like a scroll effect. It's really cool. I'll show you guys right now. I can't really describe this other than a nice like flourish. See how pretty that stitch is? It's like a nice little flourish. I don't know what to call this, but it's a nice little um, embroidery stitch. Really cute. Erin, you need a break, girl. <laughs> you need to sit down. <laughs> sit over here. And I think I'm going to sit down, too. You did enough for both of us. <laughs> I, th I feel like I've done enough, too. <laughs> Somehow, I feel like my house is cleaner, also. <laughs> Even though it's... <laughs> I'm going to do this one upside down. Might make a cute board of this right, too. I don't know. Ooh, we're shredding it up. Never mind. It's shredding up my paper. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't like it. It just didn't like it. Okay, no problem. <laughs> that was the last one of those to do. Okay. Oh, I think it's because it did this part on the paper, and that would shred up the paper. But over here, it's on the fabric, so it's good. Okay, I see why. You got your silicone paintbrush. It's awesome. It's awesome, especially with the type of glue that I like to use. I'm telling you, I'm like, I, I just hate washing the brushes too afterwards, like after I'm done. That's always a chore, and sometimes I forget, and then I just like wasted a whole brush because I didn't clean it. Because glue is, you know, glue. There's no. There's no real coming back from it being all stuck together. <laughs> so awesome, awesome. I hope it goes as well for you as it did for me. As smooth. Oh, that's what's wrong is I didn't change the stitch length on this. Okay. <laughs> Let me do that right quick. Let me change that. Here. Okay, that looks good. And if you ever want to use it for your face, apparently it's good for um, face creams or face masks. <laughs> face masks. But I don't know why not for glue. It works just fine. One, One more. One more. Okay. Over. 
And back switch. Right there. Oh, that looks so cute with the blue. Doesn't matter if it even like totally goes with the fabric. It still looks fabulous. <laughs> still fabulous. Okay, so we have a couple more. Let's pick out another stitch. Oh, I haven't done the star stitch on this one. Let's do the star stitch. So number 27. And let me get some water. Oh my God. Get some water. This is going to look so cute. Um, no, I <clears throat> I went live yesterday to show off a bunch of the index cards I made before. Um, I did them, they were blank index cards though, but I did the same thing basically with them. But they were blank. They were blank. Yeah, Keisha, Aaron's done enough. <laughs> I'm feeling as tired as Aaron is feeling. That's how I know. <laughs> She's taking a break. <laughs> Oh, these red stars, they just do it. <clears throat> they look so cute. All the fabrics. Yes. One more. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, so now we need to switch it over to a different stitch. And I need to think about it while I do the straight stitch border around this. So let's do that. Straight stitch border. Yes. Longest length. Okay. Okay. Here we go. This one. This one. Okay. One more. Okay, there we go. That looks good. Do you still uh going on in the mornings? Now I'm gonna go live at one PM now. One PM Pacific Standard Time. I am, you know, just not a morning person. <laughs> I'm just not a morning person. I just, I can't. It's just not working for me. <laughs> so 1 p.m. You know what? I can deal with 1 p.m. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up really, really early, like 4 or 5 in the morning. And by 9 a.m. or 7 a.m., I want to go back to sleep. <laughs> so 1 p.m. is going to be it from now on. I'm going to change all my banners after I'm done tonight. 
I'll uh, change all my banners over to 1 p.m. Thank you guys for uh, putting up with me and my, um, what is it called, uh, sporadic schedule. <laughs> Let's just say that, sporadic. <laughs> but we're going back to 1 p.m. 1, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is just going to work for me, I think. So one more, and then we're almost done for today. I gotta do um, four more cards. Let's see what other stitch I like to try out. Sometimes I feel adventurous. <laughs> one more over here, and over slightly. Yeah. Over. Okay. And then backstitch. Here we go. All right. This looks so pretty. <laughs> Kelly, you're too funny. <laughs> okay, I'm glad somebody else is not a morning person either. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's see which one should I try now. Um Okay, let's do that loop de loop one I like. That's gonna look adorable and right. I can just tell. I can just tell. There you go, that looks cute. Love you too, Patricia. You're the best. Patricia's always there. I can always count on Patricia <laughs> to be hanging out with the cool kids. Oh, yes, that swirl, though, yes, looking like a, looking like a hostess. I don't know if I can say that, but it looks good, you guys. Looks like a snack right here. Oh, I love it. Loving it. Love that stitch. Let's keep it going before I make the borders. So we'll definitely be back for more index card fun tomorrow because I still have cards left. <laughs> and I, I can't have that. I got to use up the whole pocket. <laughs> so I'll definitely be doing something else with index cards tomorrow. And then on Monday, for sure, I'll get back to decorating those journals. <laughs> Keisha, and make sure to um, check out Keisha's uh, YouTube channel. She's going to have an awesome sale tomorrow morning. So make sure you set your alarms for that. Okay, now let's do the uh, straight border around. Stitch number one at the longest length. Hello, insert name here. What up? Okay, here we go. Okay, over here. Okay. Okay. Straight stitch always makes me hold my breath because you can tell when it's crooked like right away, right? Always tell when it's crooked. Not that it matters to be straight, but if it's crooked, you can just tell right away because it's straight stitch. <laughs> That looks pretty good to me. My light's a little bit bright. 
that's okay. That looks good. Let's keep putting the borders on these. I love it. Hi, Lori. Welcome. Nice to see you around. Let's do this over here. One more little bit. This way. Just a little bit. Hi, River City Creative. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're almost done for today, but it's nice to see you guys. Let's get that one done. Next one done. Let's see. Let's, let's see. Okay, there we go. This one. This one. Okay, last one, you guys. So what sewing machine uh, do you have that makes fancy stitches? I have the Brothers Project Runway Limited Edition CE1125 PRW. It's over at Walmart. It's like $130. You can find older models that are maybe about $80, $90 around. So it has all these really, really nice stitches. It has 99 stitches. It can do buttons um, as well as some quilting stitches, I believe is what those are. Quilting stitches. And it's really, really good. Um... For a, beginners, a beginner person with a sewing machine, um, I have found it pretty easy to use. Like I said, get the get the warranty, though. <laughs> Definitely uh, get that warranty. But it's a pretty smooth machine. And um, a lot of paper crafters recommend it online. I know I'm a cool mom did a review on it a while ago, and she's the one that told me to get it. Um, and like I said, I'm not, I'm new at sewing, so I was looking more for a sewing machine that was popular, that maybe a lot of people have, that maybe a lot of people make videos about, so if I have a question, you know, it's probably more likely that I'll be able to find it. So here's the cards that I was able to make today, you guys, uh, with you guys hanging out with me, let me get my light out the way a little bit, it's a little bright in here, the sun kind of came out. So you guys can see what I did. It looks really pretty with the red stitching. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, my camera's a little crooked. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So it looks really pretty with all the stitching. The red, love it. It pops out so nicely from all the background. Doesn't really matter what kind of fabric you're using. It's going to match with whatever thread it is going to blend in with whatever thread you put on top of it. Loving it. That red is not red pretty. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you guys had fun on this live, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. I'm posting a video pretty much every single day and I would love for you to join us here. I do go live Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time now. That is going to be my time. I'm going to switch over all my banners and everything to reflect that. So thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me. Uh, River City Creative, I hope you do try it out. Sewing machine, get you a, a cheap sewing machine like one of these that loves paper. This one has no problem sewing on paper. It has no problem sewing on fabric that I turned into paper. I really, really uh, do like this machine. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I will be here tomorrow having more fun with some more index cards. So I hope you do join me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you again, uh, River City Creative, Lori, for hanging out with me. Uh, thank you to Patricia, of course, Keisha. I know she just left. Uh, thank you to Kelly, Aaron. I hope you have a good day. You did a lot today, girl. Rest up. <laughs> so thank you, everybody, so, so much for hanging out with me. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, you guys. Bye, the Jersey Crafter. Peace out.